The Davis Museum at Wellesley College is currently presenting a new exhibit called Memory as Medicine by artist Radcliffe Bailey. This presentation is Bailey's first Northeast appearance and the most comprehensive examination of his works to date. Tonight is the opening reception. Let's go check it out. The Memory as Medicine exhibit is a collaboration between the Davis Museum and the High Museum of Art in Atlanta. Radcliffe Bailey says that when you are sick, you go to the medicine cabinet. For him, he goes to memory because that is what heals him. Bailey's work follows three main themes. Water features references to the historical trauma of the Black Atlantic. Blues illustrates music as art, as demonstrated in this painting, Transbluency. And blood, the focal point of ideas emerging from ancestry and race. I don't like speaking about my work, but I've learned I had to speak about it. <laughs> and I thought that the main reason why I made my work was so that I didn't have to speak about it. <laughs> Despite this, Bailey agreed to sit down with me for an interview to explain how he developed his interest in art. Well, I was introduced to art by my mother. My mother was a school teacher and she basically created a school outside school for me. And my mother would take me to museums and the reason why she took me to museums was that um, her, her aunt introduced her to art. And so what happened was that early on in my life my mother would take me to museums and um, Kind of, that was kind of like the introduction to art. I went to hear a lecture by an artist named Luis, Luis Cruz, as I said, who was a Cuban artist who was making art in the 80s in New York. And I just noticed that he was having so much fun making work that um, I said, hey, I want to do this. And um, I went into art and I studied sculpture. I was a sculpture major in college and um, ended up painting like probably like right as I finished college because it was easier to make paintings and sell paintings. One of Bailey's largest works is Windward Coast. It's hard to miss, considering it takes up a significant portion of the museum's lower level. This artwork incorporates over 400 pianos into undulating waves with a single glittery black head bobbing in the expanse. Windward Coast isn't the only piece of art which seems to incorporate piano keys. In fact, it looks like it's a recurring theme in many of his other works. So I asked him about it. As of using the piano keys is something that happened like around 2002. Um, there was a piano shop that was like a couple blocks from where I live. And I just remember walking into this piano shop and seeing these pianos stacked on top of one another. And I was just overwhelmed with just the materials and being a sculpture major. That was like heaven to me. Music is, was my first form of DNA of understanding things and thinking about rhythms and sounds. And I start using the piano keys and then also thinking like, well, each piano played a certain amount of music. And the one thing that bonds all people is music. So that's why I use the piano keys. Bailey traces his ancestral links to the Mende people of Sierra Leone, another source of his inspiration. Knowing that most African Americans came from the west coast of Africa, I started using like African, African um, art as a reference in a lot of my work because I always wanted to know my makeup as an artist. I knew art history, but I also knew that there was a part of um, knowing about art I didn't know. And knowing my makeup as an artist, I, I wanted to reference those um, practices that um, went unknown to in the southern parts of the United States, but African art was always an important part. Um, a lot goes into bringing an exhibition like this together because a lot of the pieces are owned by private collectors and by museums that have to lend the work into the into the touring exhibition. So um, it's different at every at every stop. The work is so multi-layered, so multivalent that it offers opportunities for people to come in from various perspectives, to bring different kinds of histories and different kinds of, um, sort of approaches to the work. And that seems perfect for a teaching museum. It seems perfect for the Davis on the Wellesley College campus where um, there are lots of people with lots of different backgrounds who come to see what we, what we present. This exhibition is free and open to the public and is on display from now through May 6th. Reporting for Wellesley This Week, Grant Mukai, Wellesley College.